The time has come yet again for me to reveal Snowtrax TV's real world sled of the year. And for anyone who's watched Snowtrax TV in the past, you already know how this is done. For any new viewers though, here's a brief overview of what's about to happen. Here at Snowtrax, we don't believe picking a sled of the year means anything at all if we haven't ridden all of the top contenders for a full season. That's why, unlike other snowmobile media outlets, we pick our winner at the end of the year. At this point in the season, we have thousands of miles on each of our test sleds. Our long list of trusted test riders have ridden them across a wide range of different trails and conditions and developed strong opinions based on real miles ridden. The sleds we considered for this year's Sled of the Year award are Yamaha's Sidewinder LTX LE, Arctic Cat's Thundercat, Skidoo's Renegade XRS 850 with Smart Shocks, the Lynx Rave RE, and Polaris's XCR850. Interestingly, these all have 137 inch track lengths. The Sidewinder and the Thundercat are, for all intents and purposes, unchanged from 2021 to 2022. The riding experience we've all had on both of these sleds is essentially the same as it was last season. They are both great sleds that all of our test riders were happy to ride, but the reason they didn't win last season hasn't changed this season. With that said, this also goes for Skidoo's Renegade XRS. Smart Shocks is definitely great technology and it does have a positive effect on the sled in terms of ride and handling in most circumstances. This is technology that we see changing the future of snowmobiling. But in this case, it didn't change the things about this sled that left it in the runner-up position last season. Does this mean the Renegade XRS isn't a good sled? Of course that's not what it means. But when we're forced to whittle down the comments from all of our test riders, the truth is undeniable. And the truth is this. Of all the sleds in our test fleet this season, the two that everyone wanted to ride the most were Polaris's XCR850 and the Lynx Rave, as they prefer for it to be called, RE850 E-Tech. Now let's find out why by looking at what makes these sleds great. And let's start with the XCR. Last season, Polaris's Matrix chassis with their awesome 650 Patriot under the hood took home our sled of the year title. This was largely due to the incredible ergonomics and handling of the Matrix chassis. For 2022, the XCR gets all of that same goodness, but with even better and more versatile ride characteristics and a more playful attitude. The 850 Patriot is, in a word, stellar. It's got excellent bottom end grunt, yet it remains completely smooth and controllable for regular trail riding. It's not terrible when it comes to economy and it sounds awesome. From a ride quality perspective, the XCR is every bit as good as last season's VR1, but gets the added versatility of high and low speed compression and rebound damping adjustments, as well as overall stiffer baseline valving. Basically what I'm saying is that it can still be set up to ride just as smooth as the VR1, but when it comes time to get rowdy and playful, it can handle more. Ergonomically speaking, the Matrix-based XCR is darn near perfect. I haven't met a single person who sat on our XCR and didn't immediately feel comfortable. Everything is where it should be. You never feel like you have to look for a feature or function. It's just right there when you reach for it. The 7S display is easy to read, easy to use, and has all the functionality you could possibly want. Moving around on the sled is effortless, and the ergonomics for both sitting and stand-up riding are both comfortable for a wide variety of riders. If there's one thing about a Matrix-based Polaris sled we are sure about, it's that it is the best handling snowmobile on the snow for typical trail riding. It corners predictably and inspires confidence in all conditions. It's flickable, will lift its skis on command, and is generally just really fun to ride. It's also very capable in the big bumps when standing up, but this is one area it falls behind its competition. It can handle bumps at speed, but it's nowhere near as stable or composed as the RAV-A RE. So let's talk about the Lynx Rave RE, but is it called a Rave or is it a RAV-A? The guys from Lynx who designed this letter adamant that it is RAV-A, which for this Canadian fits just fine. What makes it a worthy contender for our coveted real world sled of the year award this season is first and least importantly, it has a cool factor no sled in North America has had for decades. Does that make it a better ride? No, but it definitely makes owning it more fun. When it comes to the more tangible stuff though, the RAV-A RE has all of the boxes checked. Under the hood, you'll find BRP's much revered 850 E-Tech. This motor is renowned for its fuel and oil economy and strong power from engagement all the way to full shift. 
It is clutched a little hard, so it does feel more abrupt to ride at lower trail speeds. But up on the pipe where the RAV ARE is designed to be run, this 850 feels strong. When it comes to ergonomics, pretty much all of our test riders agreed that the RAV ARE fits and feels comfortable. Taller riders may benefit from a one inch taller bar riser, but thanks to its rider centric cockpit, moving around on this sled both sitting and standing is effortless and it's comfortable to ride even for long days in the saddle. Based on what we have traditionally understood about suspension design and how it affects handling, the RAV ARE really shouldn't handle as well as it does. The PPS rear skid is fully uncoupled, which means it transfers weight like crazy and pulls awesome wheelies, but only when you want it to. This really is the secret to why the RAV ARE is such a good all-round trail sled. If you want to get more rowdy and playful, simply move your weight backwards and get ready for a good time. But if you want to rail corners on the trail, you simply move your weight forward. Then the skis stay on the ground and handling becomes incredibly precise and predictable. No abrupt inside ski lift, no excessive under or oversteer. The outside ski bites into the snow and the RAV ARE just rails corners. I saved talking about ride quality for last because this is really where the RAV ARE stands alone in my opinion. It's also where you really have to talk about this sled in context. Unlike the XCR, the RAV ARE has been designed specifically for rough trail riding in Scandinavia where the vast majority of trails are ungroomed. The fact that it does actually make a great groomed trail sled is actually more of a surprise than anything else. Now why am I saying all this? It's because the RAV ARE, with the factory shock set to full soft, does ride stiffer for typical trail riding than the XCR. But when you understand the true purpose of this sled, you begin to see that this stiffer ride is not a bad thing. This is because when you attack those incredibly rough trails with the suspension turned up even just a bit, the RAV ARE is an absolute weapon. Its rear suspension feels bottomless, and the chassis remains completely stable, even when the bumps are off camber or uneven. I have never ridden a sled that can chew up bumps like a RAV ARE, but there's more to love about the handling of this sled than just its ability to soak up the gnar. The chassis sensitivity to rider positioning combined with its uncoupled PPS3 skid frame make the RAV ARE the most fun and playful sled this industry has ever seen. It wheelies on command. It'll pop off any little lip or bump. You can actually steer the sled with the skis in the air simply by moving your weight from side to side. For anyone who remembers Polaris's Axis-based Pro X, it had very similar ride and handling characteristics, but the RAV ARE takes it all to a whole different level. If this was all the RAV ARE could do, it wouldn't be worthy of our Sled of the Year title, but because it can also handle like it's on rails when you want it to, it's definitely worthy. So how do we pick between these two sleds? They are both incredibly versatile for both smooth and rough trail riding. The XCR has the upper hand when the trails are smoother, but the RAV ARE just continues to shine brighter and brighter the rougher the trail gets. Ergonomically, they are both excellent. They both have fantastic 850 engine packages. They both handle amazing. From a features perspective, the XCR's 7S display is a plus, but the RAV ARE's KYB Pro 46 shock package is next level suspension. And there are many reasons that all of our test crew, including AJ and myself, agree that the 2022 Lynx RAV ARE with 850E tech under the hood is Snowtrax TV's real world sled of the year. First, it's because it's such a fun sled to ride. A fun sled is hard to quantify. It's hard to pinpoint exactly what makes it so fun. But there's no denying the fact that the RAV ARE has that magic combination of whatever ingredients are required for a sled to be deemed, you guessed it, fun. It's flickable, it loves to be jumped, it can wheelie through the biggest whoops, it instills the highest level of confidence in the roughest conditions, and it can rail the tightest corners. It's comfortable to sit on, comfortable to stand up on, and has that rare cool factor. It just makes you want to keep riding and never stop. In our opinion, it captures the true essence of what snowmobiling should be. It's the kind of sled that leaves you with a permanent grin inside your helmet every time you ride it.